are here with our first <laughs> guest who star in this weekend's brand new Hallmark Channel original movie, uh, Valentine's Match. Please welcome back to our home our friends Mary Margaret Humes and Luke McFarlane. Welcome, guys. Oh, guys. Thank you for being here. Great That's to have you. Cool. We're very excited, as always, you. when you're here. This movie, we love oh, love here at yeah. Hallmark Channel and Home and Family, and this movie is all about spreading the love Tell us about this great movie that I think a lot of people are going to enjoy. Well, this movie stars the amazing Bethany Joy Lenz. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bethany is a television personality who has lost her job and on the advice of her mother, decides to return back to her cozy hometown to uh, help with the Valentine's Day festivities. Okay. And while she's there, Bethany uh, gets uh, talked into maybe reintroducing herself to uh, me, Zach, who is her Ex fiance. Oh, ex fiance. Wow. Yeah. Oh, ex boyfriend's deep. Yeah. This, this does okay. go deep, and the mothers get a little bit uh, meddling. So to speak. That's right. So you play Alicia, Natalie's mom. Yes, I do. And you know what? You just want what's best for your daughter, just like any mom does. Oh, Isn't that right? Absolutely, absolutely. And what I discover um, from his mom is that there's some unfinished business between the two of them. So we put this plan into motion to set it up so that they're working together when she finally does come home for a weekend, which makes it very uncomfortable for the two of them. But very I comfortable see. for you two. Oh, though. yeah. We were just the meddling moms. We, I were, mean... we were behind all of this, making sure that they ended up at the same place at the same time and then eventually working together on the Valentine's Day festival auction together and we just wanted to see if love was going to be lovelier the second time around. It's so right. fun to see the two Cue of the you music. kind of yeah, <laughs> meddling behind the scenes trying to like you know orchestrate this puppet show get these right, two I people back it. together. But right. I wonder when I see that when I hear that if you can actually identify with a little bit of the meddling in other people's lives yourself. Oh you know what Cameron I like to be on the sidelines. Okay. I, think, Hi. I like to send up the vibes to the universe because I think that's where all the answers are but my biggest takeaway from this movie and what I can impart to people is I think it's important to not marry someone that um, you can live with. You must marry someone that you can't live without. Oh. And that wow, is the connection that write that down. You just got yeah. chills. That's the connection I think that these two will discover. Yeah. You are very wise. I know. Oh, I'm old. <laughs> I'm a little really? bit older, a little Why? bit wiser, and a little Please. mischievous. And <laughs> very, you're romantic. And you know what? Your meddling comes in handy in this movie <laughs> yes, because I'll tell you what, it turns out that maybe Natalie's boyfriend really isn't the right match for her. No, yeah. he's not. Let's take a look. Oh, what are these? Oh, uh, those came for you. I think they might be from uh, your friend. <laughs> oh, from Brooks. That's so sweet. It's my boyfriend. Very sweet. But aren't you allergic to lilies? Allergic. I mean, what does that even mean? Everybody's allergic to everything nowadays. I can still enjoy lilies. I love them. You probably shouldn't put your. <laughs> Bless you. She's sweet. He always thinks of me. Yeah, just maybe not so good in the gift giving department. Well, I better go put these in water. You might want to take your allergy medicine before you bring those inside. Have a good day. Bye, sweetheart. Bye. Oh, oh I love that. Oh my gosh, I love you all together. Yeah. You all really play so wonderfully off of each other. Oh, it's a fun script. It's well, a very fun script. I, I love that. Yeah, I love that yeah, idea yeah. too. That uh, you knew you knew me better than uh, I knew myself. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. lovely. Yeah. I knew there was going to yeah, be a happy too. ending. And watching you all together, watching really talented actors together, it, something happens. You know, you you make the 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 audience feel the emotion. You mm -hmm. do such a great job. Well, when you weren't acting and and filming this beautiful movie, you had one day off. Mm -hmm. And I understand on the day off, uh, Mary Margaret maybe went and did something nice and, and relaxing. You, on the other hand, decided to climb a mountain. Well, this is a... <laughs> I tried to climb a mountain. One day. I tried to climb a mountain. This is a little embarrassing. I am a big outdoor enthusiast. And uh, when we were driving to set every day, I would see uh, what I thought was a, was a close by mountain. Um, and I uh, asked my driver, I said, well, what mountain is that? And he said, that's Mount Baker. And I was like, I would like to climb Mount Baker. And he was like, okay, well, it's in Washington. 
<laughs> so I took my day off. I drove across the border. I camped out at the bottom uh, of the mountain, spent uh, about four or five hours getting to the glacier. And then I was like, what am I doing on my day off? Right. And I actually never made it to the summit, but uh, I, I got some lovely pictures on the hike up to the bottom of the glacier. You said that you never made it to the summit. Like, just so everybody's aware, like, if he did make it to the summit, like, it would be, like, national news. Like, in other words, <laughs> no, he, that's... I mean, like, it was a, it was a big sort of, you know, right, piece that's, of bite. That's not like a small hike. When you get there, you realize you have to turn around and come back. Oh, yeah, so I brought my camp crampons with me. I brought my ice axe with me. I just, um, you, you know what? I, I always try to bite off a little bit more than I can swallow, and uh, this time I think I... I was so tired. I was so tired. <laughs> and I was like, I have to film a love scene tomorrow, so I, I better come back down. Start this with the little, like, the little hikes. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? It's all right. <laughs> now, listen, those long days on set, I know, you know, obviously these the days can be 15 to 17 hours, depending yeah. on how everything goes. They could be pretty, uh, pretty long. Yeah. I'll tell you, but nothing like a little puppy therapy to help you out. Oh. And I know you guys got some during sure filming did. of this movie, didn't you? That is cute. Puppy day. It. Puppy day is the best day okay. on set. Oh yeah, my yeah. It's when the AD God. says, nobody touch the puppies, they're actors, just like everybody else. Oh and the God. minute they let the dogs on set, it's like, can <laughs> I? touch the puppy. Can I touch the puppy? Can I hold them? Can I hold them? Can I kiss them? Yeah. Oh, more adorable, the puppies. And they're always way cuter than anything I can ever do. So, yeah, like, you know, everyone's just like, they always steal the scene they from you. They steal the scene. We're familiar oh, with that around here. I know. Yeah, <laughs> I know yes, that yes, around yes. here. Well, you have a puppy. Well, not a, I do. a big puppy. A 12 I year do. Puppy she's 12 years heart. old. Yes. Tell yes. us about um, Bailey. Well, she's adopted um, from San Francisco from the ASPCA. Her name is Bailey, and she's going blind, which is very, very sad. Oh, she's but, beautiful. She doesn't oh, look here's, 12. Here's my girl. Strong. Um, but the thing about Bailey is she senses all of my emotions. It's like in the morning when I wake up, I don't even stir. I just open my eyes. Bailey knows I'm awake, mm. and she'll come right over and put her head right here on the edge of the bed like, Mommy, Mommy, can I come up? Then she's up there for that's the next amazing. two hours. Dogs are amazing. Yeah, e even when they're losing too. their eyesight, it's no. like they nudge right up against you, and they know that they're secure, that you'll take care of them. She's just the love of my they're life. They're so intuitive. Congrats on this film. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Uh, we always love it when you are. Be sure to watch Valentine's Match this Saturday. It's February 1st, uh, which is tomorrow night, at 9, 8 Central on Hallmark Channel. And you can also keep up with all of our Love Ever After movie premieres on our Hallmark Movie Checklist app, where you can add movies to your watch list. You can view trailers and a whole lot more than that. It is free on iOS and Android devices. That's right. Now you